the road won't fix. From Yasso go highway, we need road, cause the road lean lean up too. We want good we road. Good road. Yes, road. Right. If the road fix, uh, alright, we alright with the truck then. We are experiencing several different re issues. The main reason is the dust. And the dust caused by the overloading of the trucks. And it is happening continuously over the years with neglect. neglect. At some point in time, the quarry might use the tractors to clear some, some of the road. But when they do that, they damage the road and created more dust. So we are here now demanding that the road be properly cleaned off and wet on an everyday basis. How long have you been experiencing this issue? Years. But it wasn't so bad until the quarry get back in full working action. I to prevent the hill of black road while I put them road asleep up. And wait, 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 wait. You understand? <laughs> so like on this one now, come back and even around the corner this one now. I pay them all the truck and that's around the thing. Yeah, what? So me I said then, we are not nobody. No, that's not it, that's not it. I engaged. Somebody put six on it and it's the one one yard drop up on the road. It causing bike accident, carry me, carry a wood break and slide down the light post. I've seen several accidents here. They've been overloaded. They've been overloaded. They've been overloaded. No, they don't have no cover. They don't have no hand. No, look at it. Look at it. I'm not responsible for the hour. Look at it. What I do is when they are covered, they are covered before they leave the car. And then they are overloaded. They are overloaded. They are overloaded. They are in the recent time. They come out of here. I see it. 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 Look on the problem, look on the next example. The front end load at all. Look right in front of the barrier. And I'm over here that now. Full road at the now. You must see the road. We can't drive on 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 the road. We can't Yes, because when the trucks are overloaded and you're passing the truck, because the road is narrow, you know. but you know a truck on a whole always drive as if the road is zero. So when you're passing a truck, especially around a corner, and the truck lean, so when you're passing all the material from the truck is dropping on your car. So sometimes the guys have to change all the windscreen and all of that. Yes, man. We have, it, we have cases where passenger, we have to stop and passenger sweep off. Mall off of them and shake off mall and before me can move yes. again. That's something happened regular up till now. Then the problem again where you can't talk to them about before they left the quarry. When them load, 
They chuck them driving on the right hand side of the road. Okay. At all times. Okay. Most of the time you meet them up. Okay. That's about bicycle time. Yeah. Yeah. Which is probably ah, right hand side. You understand, sir? I know feel that. You don't understand that. You don't understand that. You can talk to them before they leave the bike. You can't talk to them before they leave the bike. You can't talk to them before they leave the bike. You can't talk to them before they leave the bike. Because most of the. You have to understand that when the road was originally constructed, the left hand side of the road, most the dry path was. Also. Yeah, I understand. Right. So, so I'll yeah. we'll use them hand. Yeah. Yeah. Tell, yeah. tell them to I'll use them hand. I'll come here that day and book him up on the road. I'll come here that day and book him up on the road. I'll come here that day and book him up on the road. If I tell you to go over there, I'll say, I'm not moving when I look at Mr. Johnson behind. And because Mr. Johnson is behind me, he's over and past. So, I ask you if you want him special. Who that? Mr. Skitter. Akita, him special. Yeah, man, listen to me. Hold on, listen to me. Listen to me, we're at risk. The other day, I go over on the next side to make a chuck pass. You know what happened? The chuck tip off. Be your stuff for me. All right. The whole of the stuff run over for me. If you go over on the right, you must pick up. It'll come over for you. Everything run over for me. If you see me ring screen right now, be that, 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 that. Exactly. It's your business. And you're in the community. I've worked with the community. I can engage them. I can engage them and reinforce them for them to go. But I cannot compel them to do it. Yeah, but I mean, I you see over the road. You need some sign on the road to 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 put people them all over the road. At me say this is a beware a chuck on the road because we understand about the chuck. But what about the people them don't know about? Yeah, you need some signs on the road. You need some security out there so when the chuck them a drive out. Sometimes we a drive out on boops. We a drive out on the whole break it. They can't slide out five or ten feet down. I've listened. I've heard the concerns that both the taxi men and the truck drivers, we know what the problems are and we are endeavour to correct them. We are in a tropical country. So you're going to have us. Wherever you have a mall for you're going to have us. Right? And as much as we wet it, you know, we can't, I guess we can't do it as often as they would want us to, have to wet it. However, we'll do what we must do so that we don't have um, a repeat of what we have here this morning. Would you mind stating some of those? No, we, we, we intend to wet the road and have people from our organization or from the community to help with the, the cleaning up of whatever spillage and also to ensure that the trucks don't leave the quarry with excess material or uncovered, unprotected material.